Yo, the new cookie just got released. Yeah, who's excited? It's time for the grand reveal. Oh, wait a second. Anyways, it's time for a cookie review. I haven't done these for a really long time, but I might as well start doing them again. Today, we're gonna be looking at Caramel Shoe Cookie. You saw the thumbnail though, and uh, she's not that good. Most of the people I talked to so far also think she's pretty bad, but today, I wanna see if I can make her meta in something. It's a cookie review after all, but first, I need to upgrade her. I'll level her up to 30, and then toss her inside the Hall of Ancients. Next, we need to level up her skill. Oh, that's a lot of resources. This might hurt. Ah! Next, we need to give her some toppings. For this video, I'll use a set of 5 almond and 5 chocolate. And now, I'll summarize her skill for you, because I don't feel like reading this out loud. She's a healer that provides buffs. She gives your whole team 15% damage resist, and also 20% amplify buff for 12 seconds. She has a 15 second cooldown, gives a cookie with the lowest max HP and HP shield, and gives your team some flat set buffs, 6,500 attack and defense, and 11,000 HP. I'll try her in every game mode to see if she's meta, starting with arena cause why not. First, we need to test out her survivability and healing output. For testing purposes, I'll use her in this team right here. We can compare her healing to Snapdragon, Financier, and even White Lily. We can also test out her survivability, since this is a very defensive team. This actually used to be a White Lily hyper carry with Black Pearl. It counters Coral Tri DPS and White Lily does massive damage at the 1 minute mark, but today I'm slapping Karma Shoe in it. First, we'll try using 5 almonds on her, and we'll fight this Tri DPS right here. Let's see how much she can contribute to the team. And she died twice in a row with 5 almonds. And then White Lily blows up and um... Yeah. Her survivability is definitely not the greatest. Alright, let's measure her healing now. Welp, I guess she really is garbage. You know what's really sad? Every single cookie did more healing. Even Financier did more, and she's supposed to be a tank. For the arena, I give her survivability a 5 out of 10, and her healing a 1 out of 10. Chocolate toppings are straight up unviable. There's no way she's gonna survive without using almonds. Compared to all the other arena supports, she's completely outclassed. You want more healing? Just use Parfait, Snapdragon, or Yeti, including cookies that aren't supports or healers. You want to give your team more defensive buffs? Use Snapdragon, Yeti, Hollyberry, Elder Fairy, Financier, and the list goes on. The only time I'd use her inside the arena is if I just started the game. Her flat stat buffs are really good for a beginner, but for mid game and end game players, the buffs aren't percentage based so they scale really badly, and they don't make a big difference anymore. Overall, she's an arena flop, so let's try a different game mode instead. The Cookie Alliance. So, there's this one alliance team that got leaked. It's only one team, but it's the best one in the world. It consists of Donut, Rebel, Frostflop, Crembley, and Cream Puff. It's supposed to be used against waves 1 through 20, yes, all of them. It also works on hero mode. That's how people get the fastest times on the leaderboard. But today, I have to use Caramel Shoe. If we look closely at the team, the only cookie I can replace here is Cream Puff since she's a healer. If I replace any other cookie, well, things are gonna end badly. I'm also gonna use 5 chocolate this time. This team doesn't really use any almonds, so. So let's head right into it. For the first few waves, our damage output's pretty good. Donut and Rebel debuff the enemies, and Frostlop's able to one-shot them. Carmel Shoe doesn't need to do much right now, mostly because I'm one-shotting everyone. So let's continue until we actually need her. Okay, so my cookies took a lot of damage. Now we need Karma Shu to heal them and let's see what happens. Wait a second, did that do nothing? I got like no healing at all. Okay, let's try one more time and see what happens. Okay, well, I guess she really does suck after all. That barely did anything. Once I got to wave 8, I didn't have enough healing. Cream Puff is obviously the better choice. She increases the damage of your cookies and heals more. There's absolutely no reason to use Caramel Shoe instead of Cream Puff. Cream Puff is better offensively and defensively. For Alliance, I give Caramel Shoe a 1 out of 10. She's absolute garbage. Maybe I'll have better luck in a different game mode. Let's head over to Guild Battle now.
All right, let's take a look at the Red Velvet Dragon first. There's two Red Velvet Dragon teams. The first one is a lot easier to use, and it consists of Ripple, Margarine, Rockstar, Prune, and Raisin. But not a single one of these cookies can be replaced by Caramel Shoe. You can't replace Rockstar since you need a ceiling. Replacing any of the other cookies results in a huge loss of DPS, so I'm not even gonna try. The second Red Velvet Dragon team is extremely hard to use, but it's a lot stronger than the first one. It consists of Rebel, Prune, Raisin, Linzer, and Cream Puff. Once again, it's impossible to replace any of these cookies with Caramel Shoe. We already know that Cream Puff's a better pick, and replacing the other cookies results in a loss of DPS. For the Red Velvet Dragon, I rate her 0 out of 10. Definitely don't use. For Living Abyss, I also rate her 0 out of 10. In fact, all cookies are 0 out of 10 for Living Abyss. You're simply not supposed to attack this boss, since it decreases your total damage. That leaves us with one more option, the Avatar of Destiny. So, you know how the boss one-shots a cookie if they don't have an HP shield? Well, conveniently, Caramel Shoe gives a cookie an HP shield. Perhaps she can actually be meta now. So here's the normal avatar team. Blackberry, Twizzly, Mint, Crimble, and Cream Puff. We can't replace Cream Puff since we already know she's better. We absolutely need Twizzly, Mint, and Crimble no matter what. So that leaves us with only one option, Blackberry. You see, Blackberry is the one who gives your cookies an HP shield. She can be replaced by Caramel Shoe. But the real question is, which one boosts your damage more? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's use Caramel Shoe in guild battle. I'll use 5 chocolates with high cooldown. By the way, this is my my weakest game mode so keep that in mind but here we go So that damage isn't too bad, right? Well, uh, you see, something bad happened. I tested the same team with Blackberry instead of Caramel Shoe, and I kinda got more damage, so, um... Yeah. Blackberry gives an attack speed boost while Caramel Shoe doesn't, so she's still a flop. For the avatar, I rate her 2 out of 10. Usable, but garbage. I guess we only have one main game mode left, so let's head into world exploration. Okay, well, I just ran into a huge problem. 99% of the levels are too easy. For example, 1830 Dark Mode Crispia, the hardest one of them all, and I beat it with only 4 cookies. This level isn't good for testing, so let's take a look at BCs. I'd say if I can beat the level with less than 5 cookies, it's invalid. This is because I can just add her to the 4 cookie team and pretend she's good. These are all on hard mode, by the way. 128 is the hardest World 1 normal level, and I beat it with 4 cookies. I'm pretty sure 230 is the hardest World 2 normal level, and I also beat with 4 cookies. I also beat 1 9, 118, and 130 with less than 5 cookies. 2-10 and 2-18 are the only levels I can't beat with 4 cookies, so I'd say these stages are valid for testing. We'll start with 2-10, but there's another problem. I beat the stage before Caramel Shoe existed, so I don't really need her, but I might as well test her anyways. So here's one team I used to beat the level before. Fettuccine, Yeti, Financier, Parfait, and Creme Blay. The weakest link in the team is actually Fettuccine, so she's getting replaced. Caramel Shoe's a relatively tanky healer. Outside of the arena, that is. And I put 5 almonds on her. Perhaps her attack buff can boost Crumble a little bit, so let's just try it out and see if it works. For wave 1, I don't have any AoE damage, so I need to use one of my swords on the enemies. Caramel Shoe survives just fine, and now it's time for the boss.
so it looks like Carmel Shu actually did something. I can confirm she contributed this time because I tried using the same exact team without her and lost. She's not horrible, but there's nothing outstanding about her and she's replaceable. We should probably test her on another level though. So let's go to 2-28, Shadow Milk. And oh boy, this level's pretty hard. I've only beat this level once in my life. I used Fettuccine, Yeti, Financier, Linzer, and Creme Brulee. Yes, you heard me right. Linzer's meta for this stage. She allows Creme Brulee to shred through the boss's first phase. As for the weakest link, it's Fettuccine again. We'll replace her with Carmel Shu. This might be bad because Shadow Milk does insane amounts of damage. And even with a 5 almond Carmel Shu, she might just die anyways. Yeah, whatever. Let's use it anyways. If I beat this with Carmel Shu, that'd be pretty good. Once again, I lack AoE damage, so I just killed the enemies with White Lily skill. Now, Creme Brulee needs to shred the boss's first health bar, and then we might win. Hey, I won, I'll take it. So for world exploration, I give her a 5 out of 10. She has decent survivability, but not that much, since, you know, she died. She needs to be paired with other healers to work well, and she's pretty easy to replace. She's not the greatest, but she's not bad. However, she's probably not meta. Overall, for all the major game modes, I give her a 1 out of 10. That 1 points for early game players. Don't invest in her unless you're making a video about her, like me. After failing to make her meta, I'm poor again, so you should subscribe. Cause I'm poor. Alright, see ya.